In this tutorial, I'll show you how to quickly add a count up or a countdown timer to your videos in the script. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, uh, let's just add a stock media uh, that is video and we can just look for uh, something like uh, fitness. Just look for fitness video uh, as a stock footage and uh, probably work uh, timers really work well with uh, is with such videos, maybe cooking videos, showing people how long a particular thing is actually going to take. Now, I'm not sure why it's taking too long to load, but uh, let's say we go with this one, uh, or maybe this one. Uh, this, this is actually going to be a good example because probably you want to display uh, a particular exercise is going to be done for like X number of seconds. Now, please note that by default, it's going to default to like five seconds. So you may need to kind of uh, extend it until you get to the end uh, of uh, I think it should be about 20 something seconds if I'm not mistaken uh, let's actually see files stock media should be 17 seconds so we can actually pull this all the way to 17 seconds uh, yeah so that's uh, the totality of that particular clip if I play it that is what it looks like. So it's just somebody kind of doing some dumbbells and whatnot. So uh, let's go back. If you want to add a timer to your videos, all you need to do is just click on text and click on title. Once you click on title, uh, it's going to be appended to the whole uh, project that you have that is uh, for that particular time. Next up, we'll go to the right here. And by default, the free form is uh, the initial uh, option for this particular title. And I'll just click on the drop down and then click on timer. Once I do that, uh, you're going to see a timer here. And if I actually play, we actually get a count up timer uh, showing uh, the number of seconds this goes on and on for. So that's step number one. We can actually change this particular title to kind of uh, reflect timer. And that is actually going to also change here that's timer and for this particular timer there are three dots right here what three these three dots uh, do is you can change how uh, the uh, timer kind of operates so if I click on them we're going to get this particular uh, floating timer thing and we'll see that the type of timer we have right now is a count up timer so we can also do a countdown timer that goes down and if you can actually play this it's actually coming down, which is really, really good, especially for exercises. And especially if you want people to see what uh, or how long they actually need to do this particular exercise for. Next up, we have two. That is how long does the countdown, if it is, for example, uh, goes to it goes to the end or if you have markers to the next marker, which would really work well, especially if you're working with uh, like uh, different clips or different exercises or even if it's a cooking show or whatever to have it go to the next marker uh, but for now we'll just leave it as, as it is as a countdown and close this now the next option is to kind of position it where we want it to be we can position it somewhere there and then reduce like the font size we can reduce the font size to something like let's actually put it somewhere here looks more visible there let's go back to the start and there we have it uh, it's counting down really really nice now one uh, issue you have with this particular timer is that you cannot take out uh, these particular options right here uh, you cannot remove like the minutes uh, timer from this because here we are actually dealing with like seconds it would be awesome to actually be able to undo that or have more uh, features in the timer uh, like if you want to have minutes seconds hours and so on and so forth uh, added to this particular timer next up uh, at least a variety of timers if you'd like to have like a timer and a circle going around it uh, or just a circle just coming down like this and then seconds or minutes going in there it would be really awesome but if all you were looking to do is just add a count up or a countdown timer that is how you do it in the script. I hope this tutorial is of value to you. Thanks for watching.